Welcome back Focus Fanatics. In this video I will be walking you through setting up a report to be emailed to the people specified. Now in order to set up a report that that wants to be uh, that you want emailed there's several things that you need to do. We need to make sure we have an event and an email station set up. We have to make sure our internet connection type is selected to always connected. We have to configure our outgoing SMTP server settings. We also have to set up the actual event that triggers the email to be sent. We also have to make sure the destination on a report is set to email. So let me just show you these options, uh, how this all works. First thing we're going to do is going to go to miscellaneous general, general, and we want to configure an event station and an email station. The event station is going to trigger the processing of the report. And the email station is actually going to send the actual report. Now the station that is selected for the email station must be able to get on the internet and send emails through that. So once we have this set up, we can go to our restaurant tab and when we're sending reports it's going to have our restaurant name and it's going to have the restaurant email address set up so we can say uh, our, for our restaurant uh, email we'll just say info at focuscafe.com we need to make sure our internet connection is set to always connected and now we need to do our SMTP server settings now if you use your settings with that you get from your ISP when you order your internet that's fine or you can use a third party SMTP server if you want whatever you want to do so I'll just do a uh, example SMTP server in here uh, I'll just say uh, mail.smtp.com and we have to select the report you can leave the port at zero by default but if you're using an SMTP server that is not part of your ISP a lot of times they block the port and the, and the default port is generally port 25 so a lot of times you can use port 587 to get around that now if your SMTP server requires authentication you're going to have to fill in your username and password and you're also going to have to select the use authentication option. So we can say our username might be info at focuscafe.com. And let's say our password just may be password. So this is all we have to do to set up our email outgoing SMTP options. So we can hit save and close. So now we've configured focus to be able to send emails. The only thing we need to do now is set up the report as an email report and set up an event that will actually send it. So let's go ahead and modify our report first. So we'll go to report setup. And in a previous video, we went ahead and set up a new daily report. But this time, instead of displaying it on the screen, we want to email this and so what we can do is do an email attachment name we can call this daily report dot pdf so it'll email it in a pdf to you and who do you want to email this to so we can say owner at focuscafe.com if you want to send it to more than one person all you have to do is put a semicolon and you can say manager at focuscafe.com then we can click save so now this report every time it, it's ran is going to automatically email it to these two email addresses okay and the last thing we need to do is actually set up an event that will trigger the email and we do that by going to miscellaneous events we'll scroll down to an available event and we'll say email 
report. Now we can select a unique ID if we wanted to. Uh, we need to select the report that we actually want to email. And that's going to be our new daily report. We want to make sure it is active. And we have a couple options on the frequency. We can email it once daily or an interval or in at intervals. And if we select interval, we can uh, select the time range that we want it to be emailed and the number of minutes that we want it to email. So if you want it emailed every 60 minutes, of course you can just do 60. But since this is a, a daily report, we just want it emailed once a day and maybe we want it emailed at 7 in the morning. So we can go ahead and click on that and after we click save and close we are done so every morning at 7 a.m. it will send out an email report to those two email addresses that we just set up that wraps it up for email and report configuration thanks for tuning in focus fanatics and until next time stay focused